Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Last time, in last episode, we spoke about something amazing that Allah Almighty, He is the Lord of the seven heavens and the earth, and He is the most merciful, Ar Rahman, la yamlikuna minhu khitaba. The people, the whole human being, from Adam, peace be upon him, until the last person will come on the Day of Judgment, all these millions and trillions of people will stay in front of Allah. They will not have permission or they will not be able to talk in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Almighty. Then Allah Almighty said what? يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفًّا لَا يَتَكَلَّمُونَ on that day, not only the human being, even the angels, even the spirit, even the angel Gabriel, even all these millions and zillions and trillions of angels will be there in front of Allah Almighty, the Creator, in front of their Creator. They are all standing there. لا يتكلمون They will not talk. إلا من أذن له الرحمن Except those who Allah Almighty will grant them the permission to talk. إِلَّا مَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنُ وَقَالَ صَوَابًا That only the most merciful Allah Almighty, He will give the permission to certain people, to certain angels, to certain category of people. And when they will say, they will say صَوَابًا They will say the truth. So even though in this world, they used to have a control over their tongue that maybe they will lie to this person, they say something bad to this person, they will deny this person or they will deny the truth, they will do whatever they want to do because they are controlling their tongue. But on the day of judgment, in front of Allah Almighty, the tongue will obey only the Creator. It will only feel the Creator. And when Allah Almighty, the Creator, will give this person, a specific person, a permission to talk, the tongue will say the truth. That's it. So whatever the person done in this world, he will say exactly what he have done. And then Allah Almighty said what? ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ That day is the day of truth. And if you see here, what Allah Almighty says, ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ That day. So the day didn't come. So this is the message for me, for you, for Muslims, for non-Muslims, for those who are denying the Day of Judgment, for those who are denying the oneness of Allah, for those who are denying the Messenger of Allah, those who are denying the Creator and the favors of the Creator and everything. Allah Almighty is saying, ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ الْحَقِّ That day is the day of truth. فَمَنْ شَاءَ اتَّخَذَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ Ma'aba. So whoever wishes, so whoever wills, you can come back to the track and you can go to Allah Almighty. Because Allah Almighty, He's always welcoming you. Because Allah Almighty, the Creator, He always wants you. It doesn't matter if you are sinner. It doesn't matter if you did bad. It doesn't matter if whatsoever you did in your life. Allah Almighty, He is the most merciful. If you remember at the beginning what we said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Whatever you do, we all are human beings. We all make sins. If we make sins, we go back to our Creator. We don't say that, okay, I'm a sinner. I cannot go to my, uh, back to my Creator. My Creator will punish me. The God Almighty, He is angry with me. Never. He is angry with you if you will die on the sin. But He is never angry with you if you go back to Him. And He will say, Ya Allah, O oh my Creator, O oh my Lord, forgive me. I did something bad. I made a mistake. I did this and, this and that sin. If you go back to Allah and you ask for the repentance, He will forgive you and He will accept your repentance. That's why Allah Almighty telling us, that day is the day of truth. Whoever wills, he can come back to the tra track and go all the way to Allah Almighty and believe in Him and obey His instructions and follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. What will happen next? We have to take a short break 
and we will come back and continue inshallah Welcome, dear viewers. We just spoke before the break about a wonderful verse from the Quran. And this is the second last verse from this chapter called Chapter An Naba, Chapter of News in the part of Amma. What Allah Almighty said, and I just mentioned before the break, Dalika Liyomul Haq. That day is the day of truth. It will come for sure. It will reward those who are following and obeying Allah Almighty and following the guidance and the morals and the role model of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and all the previous prophets. It will reward them on that day. And it will treat them very badly and will punish them, those who are denying the Creator all Almighty, God Almighty. They are denying that there is one God. They are denying the oneness of God. So in order to worship one God who is above everything and who is above his heaven and who is above the skies, they are worshipping these idols and these fire and these animals and whatsoever. No, he is only one God. The creator, the Rabb, the Lord of everything. As we just mentioned before, that Rabb al-Samawati wal ard he is a Lord of all the heavens and the earth and what's between them, what's between the heaven and the earth, everything, all the mountains, all the galaxies, all the sun and moon and everything that you can imagine, it's in between the heaven and the earth and he is the Lord of everything. So we have to worship that Lord. And this is the second last verse that he is telling me and you and reminding all of us, that day is the day of truth. So make your path, make your way that you go back to Allah Almighty. And that's why he used the word here, Ma'aba. Ma'aba means the one who go back to Allah Almighty. We were once upon a time attached to Allah Almighty. From our childhood, from the time we were born, because once you are born, you are sinless, you are pure, you are attached with Allah Almighty. But it's just the time and the environment and the place that you are living in, it will take you away from the path. So he is saying, come back to the path. Connect yourself with Allah Almighty. Connect yourself with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and follow the guidance of him and all the prophets before him. And then what he said, Inna andarnakum the last and final verse. He says, Inna andarnakum adaban qariba yawma yanzuru al-mar'u ma qaddamat yadah wa yaqulu al-kafiru ya laytani kuntu turaba it means that Allah Almighty is saying, Inna andarnakum. We have warned you, O people, those who are denying the oneness of Allah, those who are denying the Prophet of Allah, those who are denying every single sign that Allah Almighty, the Creator, gave us, they are denying these things. Allah Almighty says, Inna andarnakum. We have warned you, Adaban qariban, that there will be a severe punishment very near. It's coming to you. On that day, a person will see, will witness what he has done from the good deeds and the bad deeds. If you did good deeds in this world, you will see the result as good. If you did, if you did bad deeds in this world, you will see the result as something bad. And that's obvious. If you have an exam, a paper in a classroom and the questions are there, and if you mess up, if you mess up, you just write anything that you want to write or you don't write anything or you just start playing cross and whatsoever, what will happen? At the result, the ending result, what will happen? You will fail. And the one who really studied well and got into the exam and he is writing well and he is writing everything correctly and writing everything in a nice way, what will happen? The end result is that he will pass. And not only pass, he might get a medal, he might get a trophy, he might get whatever he wants. So, again, Allah Almighty saying, يَوْمَ يَنظُرُ الْمَرْءُ مَا قَدَّمَتْ يَدَى On that day, a person will see what he has done in this world. If it's good, you will see the good result. If it's bad, you will see the bad result at the end. And Allah Almighty said, وَيَقُولُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابًا the disbeliever will say 
on that day when he will see all these things happening around him, that day of judgment is truth. These agnostics and atheists and these people who are denying the oneness of Allah and that he is the creator, he created everything and he is there and this world will end and we will come back to this world. And once they will see all these things, what they will say? Ya laytani kuntu turaba. He will say that I wish that I were dust. I wish that I didn't live this life in this world. So I'm seeing the result of my belief and my deeds. And this is the end of this chapter, the chapter Naba, the chapter of news, the first chapter of the 30th part in the Quran. And inshallah ta'ala, by the next episode, we will come to the new verse from the Quran and chapter from the Quran. Until that, stay with us by next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh,